Welcome, I'm Didi Morris. Please like, share, and comment on this video. Feel free to browse the description box for more information and subscribe. Let's jump right in. So giving for the narcissist and, and receiving favors from the narcissist, this is all about exerting control and maintaining this control by creating dependence from all those that the narcissist help. See, the act of giving gifts and doing favors for the narcissist enhances their sense of omnipotence and that secret contempt that the narcissist hold for others by giving. Narcissists relish in the thought of being needed by others and they go as far as appearing emotionally moved by your suffering. Well, that's until you decide you no longer need their help. This is an injury to the narcissist's fake persona. This is also when the verbal attacks and emotional jabs begin. See, to a narcissist, you aren't supposed to be independent. Well, not really. They pretend to admire and appreciate self-reliance in a person. But in their minds, how are they going to take the credit? for helping you if you can do it yourself. The bottom line is that the narc's help is strategic. They keep a mental track of everything they have ever done for others. And then this way they can come back and request favors of their own. Their generosity always have an agenda attached, something we should never forget. They are masters at faking concern, faking interest, and faking compassion. Their giving is all to secure attention or sex or money and just other favors from others, including praise, of course. Some ways you can recognize a narcissist when they're giving or being generous or just generally altru altruistic is because they're very showy about it. They come off as over the top with their giving, they, they are very quote unquote braggadocious. They let others know what they have done. So if anyone you know that has narcissistic, strong narcissistic traits and display uh, such behaviors as I'm sharing now, be very, very cautious. If you don't give the narcissist what they want, how they want it and when they want it, they transform into a wounded child or a callous bully. And this happens at the drop of a hat. They can become very vengeful, very spiteful, and very vindictive. This usually leaves their partners feeling blindsided. Therefore, it's best to avoid accepting gifts from narcissists. And then if you do reject a gift or favor from a narcissist, try doing it with grace and respect to avoid repercussions and to not connect yourself with the narcissist. If you ever entered the thoughts of a giving narcissist, you will likely hear something like this. I'm in control of how much and what you receive from me. My giving to you depends on your behavior and whether or not I deem you a worthy. I expect undying loyalty and gratitude in return. And by the way, don't forget to tell everyone that you know how great I am. I know, pretty scary stuff, right? And it's hardly worth the price of admissions. That's pretty much what a narcissist thinks that they're giving you gifts and uh, uh, and um, favors and, you know, just seeming charitable. It's not worth it at the end of the day. Do your best to be self-sufficient. Do your best to do what you can for yourself and others, there's nothing wrong with accepting assistance, but um, I just gave you a few signs of someone who pathologically gives for their own benefit. It won't benefit you at the end of the day. Um, it connects you to a narcissist and that never turns out well. And it puts you in the bank of owing them because everything to a narcissist is a loan that they will cash out on at the end of the day, eventually. So that's the advice I have. 
Basically, the narcissist motto is, how dare you do this to me after everything I've done for you? That's what you will hear at the end of the day. <laughs> so steer clear. Thanks for being here. Till next time. Bye. Oops. And also remember to browse the description box below for more information.